Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? From what we have here, which is 8 raised to the power x minus 2 equals to 48. What we have here follows when we have a raised to the power m minus n, which is same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. That is, here we can rewrite this as 8 raised to the power x over 8 square equals to 48 here. That is, here the same thing as 8 raised to the power x over 8 square, that's 64, and equals to 48 over 1 here. And when we cross multiply, 8 raised to the power x tends 1, same thing as 8 raised to the power x, then equals to 48 times 64. Then, next step, we take the log on both sides, and we have log 8 raised to the power x equals to log 48 times 64. Here, yeah. then we apply the power law of logarithm from where we have log m raised to the power p. This is the same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes x log 8 equals to log 48 times 64 here. That is from here we divide both sides by log 8. Divide this side by log 8. Also divide this side by log 8, which implies log 8 cancel each other here. And we are left with x, which is equal to log 48 times 64 over log 8. And what we have here follows the law of log b. When we have log a times b, the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 48 plus log 64 over log 8. Then from here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 48 over log 8 plus log 64 over log 8. Then here we can express 64 as 8 times 8, which is 8 squared. And what we have here follow this we have x now equals to log 48 over log 8 plus log 8 square over log 8. Then here we apply the power of logarithm 2 comes here and what we have becomes x equals to log 48 over log 8 plus 2 log 8 over log 8. That is, here log 8 cancel each other. We have 2 left. And what we have becomes x equals to log 48 over log 8 plus 2. That is, from here. We can rewrite 48 as 8 times 6. And what we have becomes x equals to log 8 times 6 over log 8 plus 2 here. Also, this here follows the law of logarithm. And what we have becomes x equals to log 8 plus log 6 
over log 8 plus 2. Then here we separate this into two fractions, and what we have becomes x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 6 over log 8 plus 2 here, which implies here log 8 cancel each other. We have one left, but this we have x now equals to 1 plus. And write two here, then plus log six over log eight. That is from here. This becomes x equals to three plus log six over log eight. And also here we can write six as two times three. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 times 3 over log 8. And here, this also follows the law of logarithm. And we can write this as x equals to 3 plus log 2 plus log 3 over log 8. Then next step, we separate this into two fractions, and what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 3 over log 8. That is, also here, 8 can be expressed as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 is to power 3. And what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 2 raised to power 3 plus log 3 over log 2 raised to power 3. That is, next day we apply the power of logarithm 3 comes here and from here. And what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 then plus here we have log 3 over 3 log 2 which implies here log 2 cancel each other we have 1 over 3 left that is x now equals to 3 plus 1 over 3 then plus we can write this as 1 over 3 log 3 over log 2 and also applying change of base here, from when we have log A over log B, we can write this as log A to base B, which implies here we have x plus 3 plus 1 over 3, same thing as 10 over 3, then plus here we have 1 over 3, log 3 base 2. And yet 3 is common as yes here. We can write this as x equals to 10 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. So here we have the value of x in this problem as 10 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Now let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That this will substitute a value of x here which is x equals to 10 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3 and what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 10 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3 then minus 2 up here is equals to 48 on this side that is here we can bring this fraction up together yes here is 3 so we have 8 raised to power 3 here then what we have here is t 10 plus log 3 base 2 then minus this becomes 6 then is equals to 48 on this side 
and when we bring this together as 10 minus 6 that is 4 so we have 8 raised to the power 4 plus log 3 base 2 over 3 left is equal to 48 on this side then from here we can express it as 2 raised to the power 3 which is raised to the power 4 plus log 3 base 2 and over 3 is equal to 48 on this side. Then this power multiplies and 3 here cancel each other. Then what we have left becomes 2 raised to power 4 plus log 3 base 2 and is equal to 48 on this side. Then also from the law of indices, when we have a raised to power m plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power m, then a raised to power n. Yeah, this becomes 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 is equal to 48 on this side. 2 raised to power 4 here, yeah. 2 multiply itself 4 times, that's 16. Then times here, yeah, this follows when we have log a raised to power log b to base a, which is the same thing as b. And this here, yeah, we have 3. And is equal to 48 on this side. And 16 times 3 equals 48, which is equal to 48 from here. Now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And from here, we conclude that x equals to 10 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3 satisfies this given problem. And thank you. For watching us here at Mascat Simas Class. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.